So we are now leaving this amazing simulator and I will take you to our smaller and portable simulator located actually next to the same room and in this room we have what we like to call the Drill Sim 50 portable simulator produced by the drilling systems as you can see here we have several units which are replicating actually the equipment which is available at the rig particularly for onshore rigs in this unit we can observe a tailor touching a small lever which is actually called the lever brake or brake lever at the drilling rig you should imagine that this is about three to six feet long in a reality and you need a lot of muscles to press that one for this simulator we are trying to do this with less muscles and more brain so in this all the buttons are actuating everything we have in a drilling rig but they will be done by just a touch of a finger we have several displays and you see the main display here feet to go. Mm -hmm. where so they are the watching what Wait. happened to the drilling rig About five feet. you can hear the communication again between the two of them trying to explain where they are what is the next move and be prepared for that one of the main component of a drilling rig is the blow preventer blow preventer panel okay. contains all so operations okay. that are required to keep um, the well safe girl, in case pump, of an accident. Pump one and pump two. Both so, of them. Let's so, see if we're lined up. Yeah, I'm going to open it up now. Pump one, pump two. Yeah, so everything's fine. The BOP, everything good here? Everything's good. We are currently yeah, open the manifold for the pumps. Yeah. We are checking the BOP, so the BOPs are open and right. actually allowing the, the process to be done. And now, as you can see here, you can hear a little bit. I will go closer with the microphone so you can hear that. I'm going to pump at 120 strokes. This will be okay. the sound replicated by the system, showing that the pump speed has been increased. More accurately, yeah. accurately, the speed of the pump can be read it. We have mm -hmm. return flow here. Yep. We have return 15. flow here. You can see the the pressures indicated at the pump pressure uh, lower display, so-called pump pressure. We have the strokes, the numbers of strokes of the pumps, which indicate how fast the pumps are moving. Once our pump pressure stabilizes, I'm going to start rotating before we go to bottom. And as you also have seen in our PowerPoint presentation today on Zoom, communication is the mother of all. Looks like we're stabilized. I'm going to start rotating at 100. Okay. RPMs can be right here. 100. Let's go to drilling. How, how you say? We're gonna uh, let's drill ahead at about 20 to 25k. Wait on bit. Okay. So right now the process is the pumps are started, the drill string is rotating. They are slowly lowering the drill string into the well bore. We have one foot to go to bottom until the bit will touch the bottom and will start crushing the rock. Okay. You yeah. can observe he is operating the brake lever continuously oh, yeah. because we want to lower mm -hmm. the drill string down. As you already seen in our PowerPoint uh, presentation, drilling means rotate, circulate, wait on it. And this is exactly what right now we are doing. We rotate the drill string at about 100 RPMs. We are pumping mud. You see here the RPM, the mud, the pumps running. And we are applying weight on bit about 20, 26. Uh, thousand pounds what comes out of all of this is actually what we like to call the rate of penetration and the rate of penetration 
will be indicated here. It looks amazing, but this is a simulation. In reality, the rate of penetration can be much lower and cost you a lot of money. At the same time, my eyes are all over the place. I also have my eyes up here on the return flow. Keep my eyes on the pump pressure. When you drill, you need to be sure that all parameters are in the safe domain. So you need to monitor uh, all these information uh, located on the panels. We're going to start from here. You can see one information is here, another information is here. Most of the time this panel will be used later uh, in case of a, a BOP emergency. Then we have the BOP itself that right now they are just open and then we can see on, on the display in front of you some of the data which are also calculated not necessarily measured but uh, the main control we have are actually on this uh, blue panel and i will try to zoom it as much as i can where you have most of the parameter that a driller has access to and can change them as he wishes so you can observe again now the system here is in full manual mode that means the weight on bit must be compensated by hand in reality we do have automated systems that will compensate the weight on bit yeah. so i can show you here in this panel it's kind of difficult to see but there is called auto driller and uh, this moment is off this is because we need this to train our students and to let them feel from the hands-on experience what means to drill a well and take decision in real time. With this, I think our short tour to the simulator is done. Once again, this is our double drill sim 50 simulator where we do a lot of research as well as training for our students. Once again, thank you, Dr. Bello. Thank you, Taylor for our great day and see you on LinkedIn.